The Criterion Collection contains hundreds and hundreds of movies that we love from a great many brilliant filmmakers. But did you know that the Criterion Collection has a rather large population of Nepo babies? But what is a Nepo baby, I hear you ask? Well, it seems that recently on TikTok and on the internet in general, a younger generation has just discovered what nepotism is. Of course, that is as old as civilization itself. This is not new information, of course. But I thought, because of the discussions lately about Nepo babies, I would do a top 10 Nepo babies within the Criterion Collection. One of the largest celebrity families that has been in the discussion of Nepo babies lately is the Coppola family. Of course, we know Francis Ford Coppola as the great filmmaker who was responsible for the Godfather movies, Apocalypse Now, The Conversation, etc. So many great movies. But to my counting, there are three Nepo babies of the Coppola family within the Criterion Collection including his daughter, Sophia Coppola, who made The Virgin Suicides, and she is a great director in her own right. Francis Ford Coppola's nephew, one Nicolas Cage, is within the Criterion Collection in Moonstruck, which is a film that I absolutely love watching. And another of his nephews, Jason Schwartzman, is within the collection, a regular Wes Anderson collaborator, and he gives such a brilliant central performance in this film, Rushmore. Now, sticking with Wes Anderson, we have what might be the ultimate Nepo baby movie with three different Nepo babies within this one film. It's The Royal Tenenbaums. Now, amongst the many actors in this movie, we have Ben Stiller, who is the son of the great, late Jerry Stiller, who, of course, I love as Frank Costanza in Seinfeld. We also have Gwyneth Paltrow, who is the daughter of famous Hollywood producer Bruce Paltrow and famous American actress Blythe Danner. And then there's also Angelica Houston, who is from the famous Houston family, one of the biggest families in Hollywood history. She is the daughter of John Houston, who I'm about to talk about right now, because this is The Asphalt Jungle, directed by John Houston, who himself was the son of Walter Houston. They even worked together on The Treasure of Sierra Madre. And The Asphalt Jungle is an incredible 1950s crime film if you want something like that. Now I have what I think is the oldest Nepo baby within the Criterion Collection, but please do correct me if I'm wrong. We have Jean Renoir, the brilliant French filmmaker, who was the son of Impressionist painter Pierre-Auguste Renoir, a very famous painter, Probably, if you look at it, he's much more famous than his son, Jean Renoir, even though he is one of the best French filmmakers of all time. Within the collection, we have the film Something Wild. This stars Melanie Griffith, who is the daughter of Tippi Hedren, the famous actress who worked with Alfred Hitchcock on The Birds and Marnie. And also, Melanie Griffith's daughter is Dakota Johnson, who is also a famous actress. So their family is also turning out to be quite the Nepo baby family indeed. Speaking again of Hollywood royalty, the classic actor Henry Fonda has two children within the Criterion Collection, and he is also in the collection himself. His daughter, Jane Fonda, is in the collection as part of this film, Clute, which is an incredible film, and her performance in this film is absolutely amazing, so please do check this out. And his son, Peter Fonda, is within the collection with Easy Rider, which I meant to pick up off my shelf before, but I forgot. Charlie Chaplin is a name that you will see across many films within the Criterion Collection, but his daughter, Geraldine Chaplin, worked with Robert Altman on this film, Nashville, which is one of my all-time favourite films. I love Altman, but I do particularly love Geraldine Chaplin's performance in this film as well. Another all-time favourite film of mine within the Criterion Collection is Paris, Texas, which stars Natasha Kinski, who is the daughter of famous actor Klaus Kinski. And in this film, she gives a tremendous performance opposite Harry Dean Stanton. Such a touching story. Please do check this one out if you've not already. Another famous Nepo baby within the collection is Laura Dern. Here she was in the film Certain Women from Kelly Reichardt, which is a brilliantly touching story and she gives a great performance. She's also obviously a regular collaborator with David Lynch and Inland Empire is just 
entering the collection this week. So I would be holding that if it was actually released yet. And I couldn't do this video without mentioning Kirk Douglas and his very famous son, Michael Douglas, who stars in the game from David Fincher, what I consider one of David Fincher's underrated thrillers and Michael Douglas gives a great performance. So do check this one out as well. So there was my top 10 Nepo babies within the Criterion Collection. Just a bit of fun. I have no problem with nepotism, by the way. If I was in that situation and I could get a leg up just from having a famous parent, I would absolutely take it. Unfortunately, I do not. If you want to hear more about the Criterion Collection and get some recommendations from me, then just click the playlist that is presented on screen right now. There's so much in there, hundreds of recommendations from me. So hopefully you will enjoy. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you soon.